Good morning, Print Fam. Happy Monday. Um, lots going on today. We've got a bunch of printing for the Konica that that's all I'm really focusing on right now. We've got um, some letterhead that's due Thursday. We have got some, oh, those are done, those are done. Um, some plain paper prints, some postcards, and some legal prints. So those are the prints that have to be done today. Um, the, the legal prints are for Bob for BNI. Postcards are for me to deliver at BNI. The plain prints are for me to also deliver at BNI. And the letterhead's just for one of Bob's customers next week. So lots to do on that front. But I have to go paint myself because we got a bill that's coming out today and like I'm stressing because I haven't paid myself since I quit my job but I'm paying myself and I'm nervous to pay myself because I'm nervous about taking the money out of the business but if I don't then I get in trouble personally so yeah I need to get some more work so that I'm more comfortable paying myself because it's the first time I'm doing it in like three months paying myself real like if I were to like tell my previous self or anyone that is thinking about quitting their job that's going to be a stress for you of especially starting out so let's get going with the day all right print fam just dropped off the heat transfer order and well it is a heat transfer but I made it with the white toner um, which I am really, really loving that thing. I know I've had a few hiccups here and there, but nothing compared to what I see online. I'm not sure if the people online just weren't ready for it or didn't expect it or, I don't know. I've been like looking at white toner for years and finally pulled the trigger on buying one. So I've seen the process a bunch of times and I've, felt confident in it other than just like the spotting issues that I've had a few times which frankly they've gone away I don't know why or what happened but they're gone so to drop those off um, I've got to head to my brother's shop I worked on a Mac for him and I created a password and I don't remember what the password is and we tried and I left a hint and it was one one smiling and we've tried like one one and smiling and one smiling and smiling one and we can't figure it out so i gotta go reset the password luckily and like this frankly surprises me this is one task that is way easier to do on a mac than a pc because all you do is load the recovery console open up terminal and literally type it's either password reset or reset password, and it brings up a wizard and you can change the password. So if you're worried about your Mac and someone getting in, encrypt your drive. But, um, we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna get home, get printing started on the Konica. But I also wanna work more on my sticker shop. Um, frankly, I've been disappointed in the traffic numbers and frankly when it comes to online selling that's what matters is traffic and the more traffic you get the more people buy um, you can work on having higher conversions but in reality it's a numbers game the more people that go to your page the more people that will buy um, and so I've done some research they suggest that you have 50 to 100 listings to increase um, the visibility to your store and once you have visibility and then people look at the store uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get up all the way to the 50 or 100 mark not that it's that expensive but I'm not sure I have enough ideas um, that's where you guys I think come in if you guys have any ideas I'd greatly appreciate it uh, cam texted me one the other day that I'm gonna make up so appreciate that cam um, but yeah if you guys have any sticker ideas of, just something that you think would be cool or fun or what have you share those down in the comments I, I'm gonna try to build up the sticker store 
um, just because I want I want to have a revenue source that's not tied to my local customers so that I can try to have a little bit more independence um, geographically. So we're going to do that after we go to my brother's shop and we might stop by the P.O. Box. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. All right, Print Fam. Back at the home office. It's time to do some printing. So we're going to get the GoPro set up to do some time lapse. Uh, first thing we're going to print is the 250 5x7 postcards. And then I've got a book for my kids for homeschool to print. And then um, we'll see about doing the letterhead. But we do also have just some plain copies as well. So hopefully I have enough plain paper. I think I do. Um, and honestly, I buy the plain paper from Walmart because it's just generic 20 pound copy paper and it's the cheapest there so like significantly cheaper than buying from kelly paper or verative so i told the printer to print one of the five by sevens so it's still warming up we'll get that test cut and then we'll do the production run. all right We've got Bob's stuff printed. We've got half of mine stuff, half of mine stuff, half of my stuff printed. Now I've got to queue up a couple more things. We'll get those printed and we'll just keep on going to town. Love that sound. All right, print fam. Bob has some letterhead that he sold and it's on 60 pound text and I need to see if it will cut on the Duplo. I've tried plain paper before on the Duplo, it did not work. But this is 60 pen instead of 20 pen. So let's test it. Okay, so normally it'd get caught on these rollers and it would crumple it. So let's see. I'm worried. Hot dog! It worked! Now it's time to go printing. I think I have to print 500 sheets. I think he ordered a thousand total. So, here we go. Also, in case anyone's wondering, this is Husky Digital. And it is a 60 pound 89 GSM. So, Basically what I do is I come here, I use tray three for like my swap out bin. I keep Tango in four and Sterling in five. But pretty soon, as soon as I run out of Tango, then I'm gonna switch to the Kelly Paper 130 pound. So I come here, go to change set. I want plain paper. I want 89, which it's already set. Color paper is white. So I actually, the legal paper that I was running before this is the same thing. So now all I do is open up tray three. Loosen those two knobs. Then we go dip here. So then that opens. So we've got that same blue switch. Make sure it's back all the way. And here's the blue knob. Bring them to the right size. Tighten this back up. And close this. I obviously need a lot more paper, but that's how I love my paper. So these printed, these finished printing a minute ago. So we got 400 right here. Two up, so it'll equate to a thousand finished. There's eight or nine left on the cutter. We've got some on the stack there, and then some in the box here. 
So to give you an idea of how slow the Duplo is, the printer was able to print. So basically I started the print, I did 100. And as soon as about 15 were done, I loaded them on the cutter. It cut all 15 by the time, well, it was at 10 or 11 by the time the 100 finished. So I stopped that and put the rest of the 100 on. Then I started printing the last 400 and we've printed and still have about 10 more to go. So that just shows you. how slow the Duplo is. They do have faster models, but for me, this is great because I'm gonna load all 400 of these on here and I'm gonna go do some artwork because I don't have to sit here. Every once in a while, I'll come out, I'll empty the tray, either that or it will stop. Like it's got, it's got these little sensors. Well, one sensor, so listen. So when this gets blocked, it thinks that the output tray is full and it will stop cutting. So I'm gonna load these up, go do some design work. So here's another reason why I always run proofs. So this one doesn't look that bad on camera, but in person it's really hard to see these lines, which are meant to be able to help you fill it out easier, see across the page. So I printed one and noticed that so I changed the color just ever so slightly, and this has got 7% black, or I guess it's 7%, but. So changed it from the mix of CMYK to just the black to give it this nice half-toned look. So one thing to keep in mind, I always print proofs, I always check in the middle of large runs to make sure you're not having problems like this. It's almost five o'clock print fam. I still got a few things going in the other room. Um, I'm gonna let them finish. I'm gonna go inside. I might come back out later and just see where they're at, but I'm gonna call it a night. So thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those down in the comments. If you wanna support the channel, you can do so with the links in the description. Remember everything you do this month monetarily, whether it's Amazon affiliate links, Amazon affiliate links or buying stickers, business cards, etc. All that gets donated to Cameron. Speaking of Cameron, thank you for editing the videos. We really appreciate you. Again, thanks for being here, Print Fam. As always, we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye, Print Fam. I forgot to tell you if I met my goal. I didn't. Better luck tomorrow. Bye, Print Fam.